Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video. Welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel, the channel where we talk about Bitcoin, blockchain and life. For newcomers, my name is Didi, and yes, I like Bitcoin, like you can see, but it's a cloudy day. Not only there, but also on the charts. Again, not going up, but going sideways. But let's quickly jump into the charts. I will show you the BAM results of yesterday, but I will also show you four amazing charts. You need to see these charts. These charts can really show you where the top could be during this bull run, or that we even already saw the top in this bull run. I've been running so long that my feet don't work no more. Let's start with this one. Um, this is the four hour chart. So I want to start first with this one, I think. Yes, I think it's on the screen as well. Yeah, um, this is the one day chart. And you can see I drew yesterday this, you know, this RSI triangle we want to break out. This can happen before the 21st of July. Also, when we draw the daily chart with the candles yes we can see as well it will happen before the 21st of July sometimes when you put on for example the line chart it gets even more clear look then you can draw the lines a little bit better because you can see this the the, the touches of the lines better at that point look and then you can maybe do it like this so you don't have all the wigs but then you can see the same oh sorry guys you can see the same result you know we would be going all the way there to the 21st to 23rd of July. The strange thing I find now is that the dump always happens on around the 25th. So is this going to be a breakout to the downside so that we see the dump again on that 25th, like I shown you on this other chart, every time the dump was on the 25th. That is now the question and that is what I Think that makes it um, oh sorry but makes it really exciting and um, to see what is going to happen in the next couple of days so let's see what will happen but it's a very exciting chart. okay let's go in here I want to show you because people said to me yesterday you forgot to show the BAM BAM results yes I did uh, my apologies I will turn them on and show them now in very short it will only take 30 seconds guys look this is the four hour chart. How do you trade that four hour chart with the bam bam? I'm going to show it you like this. Maybe I can make the screen even bigger there. Perfect. Look, we were waiting for that long to close. This yellow stepping line over there, I mostly make it a stepping line like this. So that long over there, we were waiting, long flag. We need to close above the yellow stepping line that was there. There's a lot of green, but also still a little bit blue, and the bam bam already closed, but the red line was on top. That was an indication that this long that we could take over there could be a good long, but not a lot of profit. Because there was still blue, uh, the red line was on top, not a perfect lob, and that is what you see. If you put salt, would have sold at the short flag, it would have been a 1.2% profit. That's not a lot, but it's profit. Um, this is how it works. Now we had the short flag over there. Short flag. Now we are waiting for a candle to close below the yellow stepping line. And then we are waiting for the green to become blue or yellow. And then we are waiting for the bam bam to point downwards and cross down below that line. Then it would be a good long. If we keep above this one, then we could even continue the long. That's how the bam bam works. Let's jump quickly into the next chart. Bam, here, the Gaussian channel. Um, yes, that one is a five-day channel. Every candle is five-day. Like I said yesterday, we sh were closing the candle. Um, that was closed on the 10th. Now is a new candle. This one needs to stay above this level, above the level of 33,700, guys. If we close this candle, five-day candle, below this green line, we could even pull back to the bottom of that 24K. And that is not positive. So we will keep an eye on this one on the 15th 
this one is going to close. Then five days later, we have the 20th, then it's again going to close. That is a moment that we should be breaking out. Do you remember? Exciting point, all leading to same exciting point. 10 days extra, we are around the 20th. Then we should really be breaking up because else we could break down to the down and bottom of this channel. Not very positive. Guys, more charts. Bam. I was scrolling on Twitter. I found this one by Dan Tellman. He was repeating to Tour de Mesa. And I took the charts and I want to talk about those charts as well. I need to go then into this part over. Bam. Over here. I will pick my face a little bit smaller. I will put my face somewhere over there. Look. If you look at this chart. What do you see? Tell me. You see the cycle. You see the cycle from 2011 to 2021. Now the important part on this chart is that you can see that the 2013 run, the, this one over here, between these two lines, was a very choppy run look the line was going up down up down up down up down up, up you see it was like two three runs in total the big red line you can see that one but you can also see this red line over there and this one over there as well so one top two top third top it was a choppy run now this one here the 2071 was a very clean run look very clean run only one red line was needed now again maybe this clean line was a respond to this choppy run and now again we will see the same choppy run look one plus top two top and where's the good third top going to be there or there and this is again those three lines telling us where so if we zoom into this bam over here this you can see the 2013 run which was pretty, pretty, pretty choppy. You can see that. If you go to this one, you can see it's pretty clean as it comes all in this parabolic growth curve. It touches it every time again, you see, which you didn't see over here. It didn't touch it, so we need to draw three new red lines. Here, one beautiful red line that was being a support. And now here, again, we can see this choppy, choppy run. And we should be should be if it is up to uh, then ending up here but that's 500k or here at 160k and that is a really cool chart and if we look at these ones over here bam we get the same idea if you look at these charts take a look you know these are the runs and if we look at our run at the moment it doesn't look at all like these previous runs this run doesn't look like that one that one or that one and that is strange and now a lot of people said yeah but you're not you know you're saying every time 20 20 times hey, you're not keeping track on the diminishing return so he drew the chart again bam like this and now we have 40 times over there you can see that one now 20 ones and let's say we go now 10 times. So the 250K becomes the highest level, not the huge level that we saw over, over there, 500, but 250K. Still, this doesn't look here in the corner down like these others, the runs that we saw over there. This is nothing. This is too small. We need to have another leg up. And that is why, bam, this chart also shows you if we would take... Um, in a log scale uh, which is kind of looking at the blow of tops mostly then again it is not even coming near the area where we were before we are now almost at the area where like the bull run still needed start to start so for me still guys bullish that is why I am still bullish I want to see Bitcoin in this area over there and that is my bam end of the video it was not the best video again two bad videos in a week oh my god but i hope you understand why people why people always say oh why are you still so bullish did you're still bullish uh, you're only bullish youtuber no I, because i look at the charts like this i zoom out 
If you zoom out far enough, we started at 2009 till now, it only has been bullish. We have only been going up with some dips. So if you keep buying Bitcoins, it's always bullish. And if you look at these charts, then I can't agree with all the bearish people that we will have seen the bull run. We didn't see the bull on top. In my opinion, we still need to see the bull on top. So for me, I keep being bullish. Even if we drop to 25,000 US dollar, it's still higher than the previous all-time high. That is bullish for me. That's a correction before we go up again back to 50, 60, 70, 80, 100K. But that is why I'm always bullish and always relaxed and always say, you need to zoom out in Bitcoin. And you need to zoom in at life. You need to try to enjoy every single minute of the day instead of freaking out about every single minute in the charts. Now, I hope you really enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and please leave a comment. Because that is what I like to read and always like to respond to if I have the time. Today it will be a busy day, but tomorrow again we'll be there in the morning with a cool TA video and maybe also the family video about the day that we are going to do today here on the scene with the Cameron. Catamaran. Catamaran. My mouth is really dry. Thanks for watching guys and see you tomorrow again. Bye.